G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is an SG-550. This particular weapon requires the AK-5C mod to install, and as such has the same animations and same sounds, and same amount of customization, which is pretty good. Looking at the messes and textures, it actually looks pretty sweet. So getting into those attachments first off, we've just got some basic attachments here. You notice how these are all of the uh, semi-auto variety. The firing controls are in a different attachment point, so it keeps these nice and clear, and it keeps it nice and concise. So powerful calibrated receiver, we shall go. And for the barrels, every barrel has two different variants, one with the front sight hood, which is the circle bit above your sight, and one without. There's a shorter barrel, there's the longer barrel, and there's a tactical barrel. I'm obviously going to put that one on because that looks kind of awesome. It's also got the tactical rails at the top and bottom too. And moving on from that, we can change the scopes on this thing, or the optics, to sights of the reflex variety, heaps of them, and going up to a scope there. And we're going to use that scope on a semi-auto one, but for an automatic one, we're just going to be using just a basic um, little sight there. And you can chuck a suppressor on it, no reason not to. I will be using this unsuppressed with um, both the semi-auto and the auto variant, so don't worry about that. You can stop your whining in the comments, and we can chuck on a magazine um, that is a little bit quicker than regular and moving on from that, we can change what color the thing is on the circle. Let's go half circle of the green variety. And you can change the firing mode just here. Um, having semi-auto will lower the fire rate, but increase your um, damage per bullet, you know, to make it a little bit more competitive in the DPS. And it doesn't appear like there's any grips on this, which is a little bit of a shame. I would have expected that tactical rail to be able to house some grips there. But that is our SG-550. I'll create three more of these, and I'll see you where we usually shoot people. Or rather, where we usually sometimes shoot people. Alrighty, so here we are outside of Quincy Ruins. There's some raiders over here. I'm going to go and take pot shots at these guys um, with my suppressed one with a scope. As you can tell, you get a fairly decent zoom in there. And when you have a suppressor uh, and get that extra sneak attack critical bonus... A little bit inaccurate there. Maybe I'm not aiming specifically where I should be aiming, but I feel like it should be more accurate than that. Um, yeah. You see that the recoil animation is rather similar to that of the um, the standard AK-5C. And right there is an instance of Mr. Sandman. It allows you to kill sleeping players instantly. So that's why that's like that. Always make sure to stand still when you take these shots because you'll be a whole lot more accurate for it. I'm not sure whether that person was sleeping or just sort of sitting there. But we managed to take them out regardless. Sort of pushing it... Uh, pushing this scope to its very limits here, so I might as well move back over to my suppressed automatic one. This one's got a reflex sight on it, which is kind of obscured by the front sight that I've left there. So maybe that's the reason why you actually would want that front sight to be taken off there. But regardless of that, we're able to take out that target nice and easily. That was close. We would have tanked that anyway because we're a level 120-something Fallout 4 character. But still, it's interesting to see that sort of thing happen. It's a lot more dangerous in Fallout 76 when they're launching missiles at you. That's for sure. Trust me on that. Anyways, um, we'll move on to our semi-auto or our automatic variant without the suppressor. And I put on the worst side of this, actually. That's, that's way too much. Fortunately, the hipfire on this thing seems to be... Very, very accurate, so we won't need the sight all the time, but just to give you an idea of how bad the sights can get, that's just with the secondary sight. Ugh, no, bad idea. Anyways, this one here is just the semi-auto one with the um, with the basic reflex sight on it, and I like how the camera sort of shakes around as you're firing this thing, gives you the real sense of this thing giving you recoil. But actually switch over to my scoped one at this range just to snipe at this person, although... What I should probably be doing is rather taking out people who are right next to me, like this fellow. Alright, ghost, prepare to die. Wow, that was easy. This thing's doing a whole ton of damage. The rate of fire mixed with the higher rate of, uh, no, higher damage with this thing makes this a very powerful close quarters weapon, especially when we get that 25% damage boost. Fuck off, frag mine. With, um,. That always triggers my vats. With Ace Operator, we can easily dispatch our foes in close quarters. Um, these guys are tanky too, so it's gl I'm glad to be able to deal with them very, very quickly indeed. Getting a good time to kill on these guys is very important. Alright, you're a little bit too far away. We can just hit you a little bit with vats. Almost get the kill on them. We do have a calibrated powerful receiver, so those vat shots are going to do a little bit more damage than what we'd usually have with a powerful auto. It's like a 
pow a powerful calibrated auto receiver there, which is not what you'd get for vanilla game weapons. Rate of fire, just able to chop everything down. In fact, we'll move over to our um, non-automatic or non-suppressed automatic one. You'll see right there, without that 25% damage boost, we're struggling a little bit, but we can easily chop up that particular Assaultron, which is good news. And the reload is nice and fast anyway, and if we can zero in on the head with this, the recoil is not going to make that too much of a problem, which is always good to see. Ripper enemies are weird. They just sort of creep up to you holding the Ripper out. You can easily just sort of sidestep them and walk out of the way. Sometimes they might go in for power attacks, but they're never really that effective. And we'll go for some criticals against you. And once we're in range with this, even without the suppressor giving us that extra damage, we can easily dispatch them with one crit each, which is very, very powerful. Chucking in a new mag, because why the hell not? And this one is usually under a stealth boy, but... Not today, apparently. And of course, if you think the reflex sight or the iron sights are bad, you can just switch to third person and aim with that tiny little dot that it gives you there. Easily taken out that particular gunner. Now to quickly finish off the rest of these bastards, and then we can call it a day here at Quincy Ruins. Gotta avenge all of these settler dudes who died to these guys. Dead. Alright, almost done here. We'll switch over to this one, which I haven't used all that much. Just a unsuppressed semi-auto one. Probably my least favourite of the bunch so far. Nothing too bad to say about this thing's accuracy at very, very close quarters. It's performing as expected, like it's it's basically a um, retextured or remodeled um, AK-5C, which is going to be a reliable weapon anyway, so it's nice to see it transported to an SG form. And if you're a fan of the SG weapons, this might be right up your alley, but personally I think the weapon is a little bit boring, it just hasn't got the character to it. Also, there's custom drawing and putting away animations, which are pretty unique, I don't see this anywhere else. It's like you're bringing out a different one and putting it away in a different pocket. No, that's not the SG-553 I want, I'll just put it in that pocket. Alright, we'll move on to something else. Alright, enough screwing around with the unsuppressed variants, we're going nice and sneaky here. And Raiders really can't stand up to this. These guys are a little bit of a cut off the regular gunners, but yeah, just to show you how effective this thing is at slaughtering just some Raider trash, there you go. We'll move on to the bear who lives here. I don't know what exploded there to give me all of that XP, but thanks, I guess. These mines are here again. There's the big old bear, and we can easily dispatch him in a few shots. Hmm, that must have been a visual glitch with the tracer mod that I'm using. Ah, I, there might be some gunners being killed by Gerald over there. Not really sure, but here we are at Big John Salvage, one of the super mutant strongholds of this joint. They, they like these scrapyards, I'll tell you that much. I don't know why they like it so much. Still not 100% sure if that's an appropriate mod, having that as idiot savant. Don't like seeing the vault boy every time, because that makes no sense, but... Having an overly sexualized little cartoon pop up? Maybe not. Alright, so apparently these super mutants aren't exactly taking me on head-on. Speaking of super mutants taking me on head-on, there goes your head, mate. And then we'll keep on going with this. Really pushing it to the limits there. I might switch over to my sniper variant here. I mean, as much sniping as I could possibly do with a 4 times scope. Um, not seeing any knockdowns from this, so I don't think this is actually... Um, keyworded it as a scope, therefore it won't work with, you're getting a crit by the way, won't work with anything like Sniper, which is a shame. At least rifle bullets are coming out of it in the Vats vision, that's something that doesn't happen a whole lot of the time. Something that I think gets overlooked quite a lot actually. Okay, we'll keep on going, we're still in caution, taking it a little bit slow because my TTK is so much faster when I'm not detected. Hopefully by shooting his friend that would have baited him. And apparently I just kicked that Psycho. Ooh, Super Mutants on Psycho. That'd be scary, I think. Oh, unless they're too big to actually feel the effects of it. I think many ghouls can't feel the effects of Psycho because just how they are. Alright, now we've got a nice vantage point. Old mate with a minigun spots us, but that's okay. We can just line up headshots on him because, honestly, miniguns, they're shit in this game. So we can take bullets all day. 
We can take those 5mm marshmallows all day and not really have any problems. Penetrator doesn't work through little bits of roof like that, apparently. That's okay. We can just keep on spamming that criticals. Not that we could, actually, because we didn't have any left, but... We're back into caution now, at least. We can probably switch back to our console commands. No, our automatic one now. Oh, why not? Let's just go full auto with an unsuppressed one. Yeah! Mag dumping super mutants for days. And it does take days. These guys are tanky as fuck. I, I do say this all the time, but I play on big boy very hard difficulty. And it gives you a 50% damage um, penalty, which makes these guys who are normally pretty damn tanky by normal standards, even ridiculously tanky by endgame standards. Like, there's no reason why a dumb super mutant should take up that much money. Money. I guess they're money if you're spending money on paying... I don't know why I said money. That's weird. Maybe I'm thinking of the economically shoot fucking super mutants with 30 um, 5.56 is a piece, you run yourself pretty broke pretty soon. So it looks like with this thing, we can hit for about 1k if we hit him in the noggin, which is good. Hit fire on this thing, obviously doing good work. And it looks like our strafe speed is the same if we aim down sights, which is not usually the case, but that's pretty interesting. Maybe they put like a soft and nimbles legendary effect onto that, so you wouldn't have any um, movement speed penalty whilst you're aiming down sights, which is kind of odd. Get that micro burst happening in his face like we're playing some Battlefield 3 games, eh? Dodge that missile, mag dump some more, piss away some more bullets, expertly dodge the missiles, and now we can just get thrown at with 5mm um, <laughs> marshmallows for days. My turn now, your turn. Super Mutant has missed. That, that's what would happen in Fallout uh, 1 and 2. That would be like Super Mutant. She's shooting a full burst and then missing every single shot. Alrighty, that's enough for this place. The um, the gauntlet here has proven to be not much of a challenge for an SG-550, so we'll move on to one more thing. And for the last monster, we'll kill this crabby newt, newt guy. We'll kill Viceroy Gunray because he's a newt. Yeah, that, that makes sense. So we'll just start off with some bats uh, shooting here just to build up some sort of critical for when we really need it. But it doesn't look like we totally need it. This might actually be the fastest kill I've got on this guy in quite a while because usually um, he comes out to play when I've got a um, pretty ordinary weapon. But now we're just wiping the floor with him here. And we've got a full AP bar, so why not just cheese some random attacks on him? Ah, okay, he's detected me now. Unfortunately, we can't cripple his noggin, which means... Oh, wait, no, there's the sneak attack criticals. Escape artist doing its thing, and now we're... Okay, we're just going to back off a little bit here. Okay. So he never detected me, but somehow resisted the sneak attack criticals before. Perhaps he was in a position where he could resist them, but now he's not. Which means we can just keep on cheesing it with this. This is how you want to do it. This is why I put a suppressor on. There's no reason why you wouldn't want this kind of damage. See? Told you stealth commandoing was good in Fallout 4. Alright, let's finish this off a little bit more um, aggressively there. A swing and a miss from the glowing dude, and we can get a quick stagger on him. Hide behind a tree a little bit, break his pathing. He hesitates because he's trying to figure out what to do, and now he's going into his watery grave, straight to Davy Jones' locker, and just a little bit of an extra mag dump to make sure the job has done. So, that's about it for the SG-550. It was basically a reskin of the AK-5C, but it was nice enough to revisit that weapon because it's a high-quality weapon that I only used for a very short time when I originally recorded that video. If you'd like to see this thing in your game, I'll have to find out where I actually got it from. If it's from a source, which I can relay the uh, download link to, link will be in the description below. Thank you very much for watching, guys.